God is to us what we can never be to him. Now, as we conform to his image, it changes us to his image, but there are things God is we can never be. Is that okay? For example, God can be omnipresent. He can be in many places at the same time. You read your Bible in the morning, he's speaking to you, but at that same time, he's speaking to me. Now, he doesn't do that through a network of angels. He does it because he is omnipresent. You know the truth? Satan is not omnipresent. Satan works through a complex network of demons and fallen angels. So, Satan is not in all places. Angels are not in all places. Yeah? Just like God. No, God is in all places because he's omnipresent. We cannot be omnipresent. Is that okay? Now, God has given us eternal life, which means that our spirit, you know, has eternal life. So, the spirit of man, whether born again or not born again, is immortal. But now, because we are we have eternal life living in us. It means that our spirit will live forever with him. The other people, when their spirit resurrects, they go to hell. But even though our spirit is now immortal, it does not mean that we have always lived. Do you understand? Which means that spirit is immortal, not necessarily eternal. In other words, we... we have not always been like God will be, even though we will continue to be. Hope you understand what I just said. Huh? We didn't, nobody knows the beginning of God because it doesn't have a beginning. Everybody knows our beginning, even though we are going to then continue. Our flesh will die, but we will resurrect and then the spirit will continue. So I just gave you a few things, a few areas where we are different from God. But two more things that make God unique. Number one is power. We say he is an omnipotent God. He has all powers. He's almighty. But number two is his wisdom. And is we say he is all knowing. Is his omniscience. This morning we are concentrating on that wisdom because it is very relevant to what God is doing in this season. Say amen to that. Now, God created the world. And it is very easy when you hear about the creation to think of the power of God, isn't it? We think of the power of God. But actually, the Bible talks about the wisdom of God in creation. Proverbs chapter 3 and then verse 19. Proverbs chapter 3, give me verse 19 very quickly. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. By understanding as he established the heavens. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth. This scripture is saying, listen to me very carefully, that for every kingdom founder, whatever it is you want to found, whatever it is you want to start, you need a display, an adequate endowment of God's wisdom to be able to make it happen because the Lord by wisdom founded the heart. Come and shout hallelujah. In fact, while preparing for this message, I came across a scripture that is very, very critical. I want you to take note of it. Jeremiah chapter 10 and then verse 12. Jeremiah in chapter 10 and there in verse 12. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom. Now, this scripture, we're going to read it again. Don't take it away. Please, I want you to take note of what power did and what wisdom did. Can we read it together? Everybody want to go? He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom. Let's say one more time. Are you seeing what I'm seeing there? That what power makes, wisdom establishes. So, you can, you can go out of it now. Whenever we are thinking about 
doing the impossible power is what is needed but whenever you are thinking of establishment you are thinking of solidifying your jurisdiction wisdom is what is needed many of us definitely we need the wisdom of god in our life it is that part of god that we need that we don't know that we need the wisdom of god will be the asset to any believer Maybe you have not been hearing so much about the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God, but you can see what God is saying this morning, that to establish the heart so that it does not go out of order, so that it is well organized, God displayed wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 